Hi everyone. Uh, today marks a very special milestone for Sana Commerce in Australia. We are proud to welcome Microchannel Services as our first ever implementation partner in the region. Microchannel Services is a premier ERP technology partner with expertise in Microsoft Dynamics and SAP B1 ERP technology. Today we have Nathan Miller with us, Chief Operating Officer of Microchannel Services. So Nathan will be sharing his views on B2B e-commerce and our new implementation partnership. Hi, Nathan. Uh, thank you for joining us today and congratulations on becoming the first SANA implementation partner in Australia. Thanks, uh, Bert. A very, uh, yes, very exciting time. Perfect. Thanks, uh, Nathan. So Microchannel has been working with SANA for a while as a reseller, I think even uh, starting from 2015. But coming from an ERP background, what was the key reason behind you opting to start implementing a B2B e-commerce solution for your customers? So, yes, we've been doing a number of implementations. I mean, Microchannel itself has been in business for 25 years, um, uh, implementing ERP solutions and, and other, other related products. But e-commerce, I guess, from of recent years, we've seen it's been a growing area. Um, the recent world events have really seen it start to take off. So I think it's about 10 implementations of SANA e-commerce that we've done to date, um, jointly with you, we're, we're within our customer base. Um, but we saw that within our clients, um, both uh, around this area and in general, they want a solution partner that can implement the whole solution for them um, and do end to end. So we saw after the customers that we've got on board that um, SANA was, a, was a, work, it's a solution that worked really well. Um, let's partner together, we can implement it as part of the overall solution and give them a, a great um, foundation to move forward. Um, with its out-of-the-box integration uh, or native integration with, um, with our EOP products, I mean, the core ones that we do, business Microsoft um, Business Central, uh, where Microsoft are seeing us as the leading partner in that area, uh, SAP Business One in both Australia and New Zealand with a leading partner, um, and finance and operations. Um, uh, which is a, a, a key, um, I guess, more leading up to the enterprise space. Um, it's also we're seeing a lot of e-commerce needs there. So it was just a, it was a, it was a perfect match, and the timing just worked with what was happening. Yeah, perfect indeed. That's uh, that's true. Actually, uh, it can uh, can never be a better time to to yeah take your business online right now, and also to optimize your business. And why do you think that? Uh, your customers or uh, B2B businesses need to take their business online today? Look, I guess it's a, it's a combination of, um, of things. There's the, the expectation um, that you're going to be able to transact on online uh, in, a, in a B2B world now. Um, and I guess there's, if, if you don't, um, as, if a business doesn't go down that path, they've got a risk of losing business because they're going to fall, fall behind their competitors. Um, competitors uh, or businesses are going down this way. They expect they can track, transact online with you. Um, and by going down that path, you can get the um, efficiency gains um, of having that online processing versus paper uh, where, where it's prone to error um, and, and more time consuming. Um, so the, then there's the marketing side of things as well, the market component. Um, an online business, it's more accessible. Um, you can be easily found on the internet. Um, and businesses want to do um, business together uh, in an easy, lower cost, effective way. So th that was one of the key drivers. No, indeed, definitely. I think uh, most of the customers that we are helping together in the region has the same feedback. For example, optimizing their business and becoming more efficient is actually a key driver, especially with the, the current pandemic. A lot of people are actually trying to, to get there very soon. But also uh, being a key technology partner in Australia and New Zealand, what advice can you give businesses who are still operating their business and customer interactions offline? So it's, a, it's an interesting one because basically you could say after every uh, project go live, there, there's two key things that we hear from, from those um, successful projects. Um, one is transitioning or adding an online business um, was, it was easier than they thought it would be. Um, the other one is, um, why didn't they do it years ago? So the, the finally, once they've gone down the path, it's, well, yeah, why didn't we do this easier, uh, earlier? Uh, it wasn't too complicated. Um, and it's uh, bringing on the online channel, it's, it's, um, it's key to, to do that. So um, 
what I would say is though, is um, I challenge everybody um, to actually pick up the phone uh, and talk to uh, either Microchannel um, as their technology partner or to Sana uh, and get uh, an understanding or discuss their business model and processes because I can guarantee um, that they'll, um, uh, B2B is going to make a distance for, difference for them. Agreed. And uh, you're right, actually, I think from our experience together, we have seen a lot of even uh, when companies are thinking about putting an ERP in place. And I think uh, e-commerce, especially in B2B space, becoming one of the key drivers of the ERP project as well. And I think that's a very good insights. Uh, but also, I think uh, our last question for today, how do you think Microchannel and Sana can help our existing uh, and potential customers with their digital transformation journey? Well, Microchannel and I'm sure Sana see, um, uh, yeah, be it existing clients or potentially new clients, um, it's a partnership. So we're here to partner with them on their journey to help their business grow, to make best use of technology. Um, we understand business process um, and e-commerce. So partner with us, um, um, see how Sana Commerce can open up new business areas, new business channels, uh, or improve their existing channels. Um, build their loyalty with their clients, uh, streamline their internal processes, um, and look, it, it'll end up reducing admin costs and you'll see it'll allow you to make more sales and in turn, grow your business. Exactly. And I think uh, I think no one could have said uh, that better. I think we, uh, working together, we can actually also uh, help businesses optimize their end-to-end -end processes, like you said, starting with an ERP, but also taking their business online and help uh, becoming more efficient uh, as a business. So uh, thank you, Nathan, for these great uh, insights. And of course, we are proud and excited to have Microchannel Services as our premier implementation partner here in Australia and New Zealand. And for everyone listening in, uh, if you're looking to digitally transform your business, especially to thrive in the new normal, just like uh, Nathan was talking about, feel free to reach out to Microchannel uh, or to Sana to discuss how we can help you with this journey. Thank you and uh, stay safe. Thanks, Arjuna.